Welcome to the next installment of our series about FSD Beta, the most advanced version of Tesla's autopilot software which might eventually enable fully autonomous driving. The clips used are numbered and the links to the source videos and their creators can be found in the description below. Today we'll be looking at a variety of clips from FSD Beta version 10, one of the most recent software updates featuring retrained neural nets. Prior to the release of version 10, Elon Musk had said the update would blow our minds, but as the following clips will illustrate, he may have been slightly overzealous in setting expectations. While some long-standing issues have definitely been addressed, there are other areas where the software seems to have regressed, making mistakes in instances where it had previously performed strongly. The current version of FSD Beta still makes mistakes and doesn't make the car fully autonomous. The driver needs to pay attention at all times and intervene when necessary. When autopilot is active, the blue steering wheel appears on the display. If the system makes a mistake, the driver can take over at any time, which is indicated by a chime and the blue steering wheel icon disappearing. Let's kick things off on a positive note and look at some scenarios where FSD Beta version 10 has improved over previous versions. Brandon has been testing the FSD Beta software in Sacramento, California for almost a year now. His Tesla has always struggled with these small roundabouts and in earlier versions sometimes attempted to path directly through the center median. More recent versions had performed better but still didn't manage to go through the roundabout smoothly. A car now, on version 10 of FSD Beta, it would seem as though the yeah, software has finally there, figured it out and Brandon's Model 3 was able to drive through two unique and busy roundabouts while accounting for other vehicles and operating smoothly. He was understandably very excited about this improvement. This is great! Oh man. Okay. This old clip from Kim Paquette shows a scenario which has presented problems for all previous versions of FSD Beta. The car was supposed to follow the dotted line into the right lane, but instead it kept crossing the line and trying to keep going straight. However, starting with version 10, the issue has been fixed and Kim's Tesla has been following the line correctly on all attempts. Another area where FSD Beta seems to have improved with V10 is going around cars that are blocking a lane. In this clip, from the first Canadian beta tester, you can see the Tesla correctly stopping behind the car in the roadway waiting for the adjacent lane to clear and then nicely proceeding around with an indicator on. Here is a similar scenario. The Tesla needs to get around a stopped van, but there is a car in the adjacent lane. Autopilot correctly slows down and waits until the other car passes before proceeding safely around the van without any hesitation or delay. Many beta testers have noted that version 10 software is more confident and assertive when it comes to making unprotected turns it seems to be able to utilize smaller gaps in traffic, like in this example from Dirty Tesla. Previously, the software wouldn't have gone for it and would have waited for a longer gap, which could frustrate and inconvenience other drivers around. This other clip from Dirty Tesla shows a great right turn at a stop sign where the car actually starts to initiate the turn prior to the other vehicle being completely clear of the intersection. Wow, wow, wow. The aggressiveness is definitely dialed up. This and is exactly the behavior you would expect from a human driver. But up until this point, Beta had waited for other vehicles to be completely clear before proceeding. While these improvements are definitely impressive, FSD Beta version 10 isn't without its fair share of issues. Version 10 seems to be performing worse in certain scenarios where it had previously done well. Take for example diagonal cross traffic at intersections. In these three scenarios with unprotected lefts, autopilot consistently fails to take into consideration the oncoming cars and doesn't yield to them as it should. It's hard to say exactly what is causing this sort of behavior, but it may have been the retraining of neural nets which led to beta having troubles with atypical intersections. She was giving me the look like, what are you doing? With that said, tester Kim Paquette attempted a similar scenario in 10.1 and the vehicle yielded correctly. So this issue may have been fixed with 10.1, but it's too early to tell and more testing is probably needed. Okay, wow, that was awesome. Okay, so In seemingly another area of regression, Chuck Cook encountered two big issues during a single drive. 
In this first clip, the Tesla ran a stop sign that it didn't have any right, issues with in stop. previous versions. Whoa, what is it doing? However, this may have also been fixed in 10.1 as the car once again stopped correctly on that version. Stop sign, it, this, this is the one it ran last time and it didn't run it, it stopped this time. In this second scenario, the car seems to have run a red light and only stopped because there was a pedestrian ahead crossing the road. It needs to stop. What's it doing? The result was Whoa, that the car stopped that. way past the stop line. But if it weren't for the pedestrian, the Tesla probably wouldn't have stopped for the light at all. Similarly, Brandon encountered a weird issue on his version 10 beta drive where his car stopped correctly at a red light, but after a while began accelerating into the intersection despite the fact that the light remained red. Whoa, okay. It was attempting to go pat through the red light. <laughs> All of these scenarios happened on loops that Chuck and Brandon drove regularly in previous versions of FSD Beta without encountering these issues, pointing towards a definitive example of regression. Another slightly annoying, but not major issue with version 10 revolves around creeping. In numerous scenarios, testers are experiencing extremely slow and tedious creeping even where the path forward is entirely clear from cross traffic and visibility is nominal. During these incidents, the display informs drivers that the vehicle is creeping for visibility, but the slow and tedious nature of this action has seen testers using the accelerator to force their vehicles to proceed. This wasn't as large of an issue in previous versions and remains one on version 10.1. In this final clip from Galley of Hyperchange, we see his vehicle mistakenly enter a non-driving lane, and although it seemingly realizes its mistake, it proceeds on its course forward toward the curb directly ahead. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you doing? Okay, that wasn't good. Judging from the visualization, it seems as though the car isn't detecting the shape and position of the curb correctly, despite its prominence, which ultimately leads to a disengagement. While definitely an issue, it's hard to say if this is version 10 specific or present in earlier versions as well. As Elon has said in tweets regarding FSD beta, expect two steps forward, one step back. FSD beta surely seems to have a couple of areas with apparent steps back while showing improvements in other areas. So was version 10 as mind-blowing as you had expected? Let us know in the comments below and be sure to like and subscribe to the channel for more FSD beta content. And if you're looking for wheels for your Tesla, be sure to check out aftermarketev.com for specially designed Tesla wheels created with the purpose of increasing the efficiency and styling of your Tesla. Use code FSD beta at checkout to take 5% off of your order. Thanks for watching and see you next time.